you have to keep on scoring it. The old time matter. Who remember it? Who remember the master man? Solid, Solid old figure wood. This is from old days. This is what my oh. parents used to use. So oh. I continue. All right. I'm gonna find out the people who know the real Jamaica. You remember something named Asham? The corn Asham that we used to get at school? There's a lady in St. Elizabeth here in the hills of Magati who still does it. A man has found her. I'm here and she's gonna show us how it's done. And I'm gonna take you along with me. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel though, I implore you, I do a lot of these kind of videos talking about the real Jamaica. And I don't want you to miss any of that. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell notification and that way you'll see updated on all my latest videos. Let's go on the inside. Oh, here she is, guys. Miss actually Auntie Cena. That's what they call Aunt Cena or Auntie Cena? Auntie Cena. Auntie Cena, the lady that does the Asham. The whole time Asham. And guess what? She's gonna show us how it's done. Now she's taking me on the inside. Thank you. Nice house, Miss Cena. I should say Aunt Cena, I'm sorry. Well, neat and clean and organized. Okay, thank you so much. All right, then. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. So, this is your little kitchen, and you do Asham in here. So, go on, man, and show man. Okay. All right. Oh, you put on your hat. And your apron. All right. A lot of people excited to see this, you know, Miss. Oh, man. Aunt Cena. Yes, man. I hear them not see this, you know. Okay. All right. So, this is her little kitchen, guys, in rural St. Elizabeth. It's like a year middle, you know? Yes, yes, yeah. Your production. Yes. All right. And people fascinate by it, so, you know? Uh -huh. Just give them more courage. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. I see the corn. Yes. I see nice, clean, oh, pretty corn. corn. Yeah. You grow them? No, so if I don't have, uh -huh. I'll buy. Oh, okay, but you so grow that some. That little farm where you see out there, that's mine. I didn't see the farm, but yeah. I guess I'll see it after. Okay. All right, but so nice, clean corn, though. This is the corn you use? Yes, sir. All right, so. For those who don't know, tell them what asham is. Asham is corn and peanut mixed together. Oh, you put peanut in it too? Some, because some require it, oh, but some don't. Uh -huh. So, um, it's a traditional food. Uh -huh. It's real strong food. Uh -huh. Yeah. Back in the olden days, people used to do it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, but they, used to put, they never used to put peanut no, in No, no, okay. they never used to put oh, peanut well, you, That's your style now. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, but we have to preserve our culture because yes. the younger generation, most of them don't know it. Yes. So, yes. because of that, I, my mother used to do it. So, mm. you know, I continue. And more when I go on the street and people mm. learn about it, it mm. gives me more encouragement and yeah. courage to do it. I appreciate you because I don't think we have a lot of people left in Jamaica who, who make Asham. Asham. Yes. So right. We go and parch a corn first. Uh huh. Okay. So, so tell me the process for you. That's high level. What do you do with it? You we shell the corn. Uh huh. Clean it because uh -huh. sometimes you have bad ones. You know. You have uh huh. To pick it out, wash it, dry uh -huh. it, uh -huh. and then you're ready to parch. Uh -huh. So you have to be dried. Uh huh. It's a very you have to dry. You, have, you can you have to dry it on the outside or just natural. No, ear, on the ear, outside. Not mean sun dry. Yes, yeah, sun dry. Not just ear dry. No, sun dry. You okay. Have to dry it. And tell them what parch me. You said parch, but what do you mean? Like some people would say big. So we put it in a pot mm -hmm. and stir. Uh -huh. A hot pot. Uh -huh. So the pot is already. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, guys. Okay. So the pot top. And you put it in it. But but what, all right, so while it's while it's while it's it's baking. It's a cooking. Are you cooking? Yeah. Toasting. Yeah. Oh, that's more like toast. Yeah. Roast. Uh -huh. Like a roast. Roast. Yeah. Okay. So you roast it. Uh-huh. So you, you have to keep it stirred so everything gets on one level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you don't stir it, it will burn. The but the ones at the bottom will burn. So you, you don't leave it, you don't have to leave it for a minute or so? No, you have to keep on stirring it. Okay. okay. And I assume then the amount you, you kinda use um, experience to determine the amount that you put in there. Yes. Yeah. Normally what I do, I'll, I'll wait, mm -hmm. like if I'm going to do 15 or 20 pounds, mm -hmm. based on what I'm, like the, what I'm going to sell. Uh -huh. yeah, so How much do you put in there now? Right? How much this is now? just a pound. So one pound? So this oh. is just one pound. Okay. So typically you put a pound per pound yeah. at a time? Yeah. And then what happens after you? After you parch it. Uh -huh. So it's gonna sorry, it's gonna turn brown or yes. so, a different color. Different color. I remember that. Yeah. And then you beat it, you put it in a mortar and beat it. Uh-huh. Or you could mill it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then But the traditional way is to put it in a mortar. I was gonna see that guys. We're gonna mm. see the old mortar. Yes. <laughs> Alright, and then 
Then you pour powder, pour beat it to powder, uh -huh. and then you sieve it. After you sieve it, now you can package it. Ah, you don't. Okay. So what you put anything else in there? Just a little sugar. A little bit of sugar. To, to okay. taste. What Some is, people love it sweet. But it's strong food, you say? It's strong. Yeah, very. Very healthy. Yes. When it's strong, you mean healthy? Healthy. It's good <laughs> because grain and nuts is good for your body. The Bible tell you that. Okay. So, uh -huh. Grain and nuts. Is All good right. For your body. Good. So it's bake, so that is the baking process. Yeah. And it takes how long to bake approximately? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes you can continue to store and yes. And in 20 minutes it will look like this. Like this. Ah, so this is nice and ready. Yes. Uh-huh. So this is what we're gonna pour in the mortar and uh -huh. start to beat. Alright, so we're gonna see that? Yes. Alright. Cool. So this is and this is about two three pounds. Ah, yes, yeah. three pounds. Okay. okay, okay, cool. Let's see that, my friend. I'm excited. Or if you want to see the seed from the mill. Oh, you want to show? I don't know which one you want to. I, want, I think I like the Martha one. Martha. Let's do the Martha one. Okay. So you have option. Just step up, man. You're going to mill now, but you have the old Martha here still. Yes, you have this. So you put it in the Martha and you, you beat it like this. Ah. Okay. Oh, I see you had some in the Martha already. Yes. Okay. Good time. Ah, I like the Martha, man. Mm -hmm. This matter older than me. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> From my mother days, uh, it's old. Oh, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. But still handy. Yeah. Yeah. This is cedar or something? That's cedar? Yeah, that's figure true. wood. Figure wood. Figure wood. Okay. Yeah. yeah huge matter. This matter. This matter can take a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of work, but once you love what you're doing, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you actually had some that was crushed a little bit already, but yeah. you just pour it out pour a little more. Out. So we can sieve it and you have mm. the ready product. How oh, you know when to stop? Or when you know when to stop? No, it, you can sieve it, you know. Once oh. you see, like, um, the grains are all gone, mm -hmm. so you can sieve it. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to re-beat it again, you can do it uh -huh. to get more. Okay, all right. So you beat and beat and beat and beat to a powder. Yeah, until you reach powder. And you sieve it. Mm -hmm. So then you add a little sugar to it mm -hmm. and then go to it go. Is that ready now? Yeah, you can sieve this now. Is that ready, you sure? Yeah, we can sieve it so we can get the ready product from it. Alright, no problem, no problem. But how long does it take you typically to beat to beat to, to beat wow. a batch? The beating takes a lot of time. Mm. Pretty minutes. Yeah, so, like, so like what you have on the pot here now cooking. It's gonna to take see. 20 minutes to to beat. Yes, yeah, so to get to that. To get to this, yeah, to get to yeah. that. Yeah. And then after you, after you, you do this, and you beat, and how long it takes to approximately for the same for that same batch? Yeah. How long approximately to beat that to get it to powder? To powder. Uh huh. Maybe more half an hour or so. Half an hour. Yeah. So half an hour per per one pound. Per, no. Because you said that's about a pound. Right? This is a pound. Uh huh. To get this pound to powder. Yeah. In the matter. How long? For half an hour? Okay. okay. Are you going to beat until everything dissolves? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So we will take. That's why I don't do just a pour. I do more at all times. Yes, yes. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the Martha, guys. The old time Martha. Who remember it? Who remember the Martha, man? Solid. Figure Solid old figure wood. Figure wood. Yeah, man. If you remember, tell me, man. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> I give you a like or something. Oh, but this, hold on. But this is not. This is not wood. This is iron. It's iron. Yes, yes. This so why you do that to yourself? You do that to yourself, Antisina. Iron. Why you don't know, use the wood? The wood not a lighter, man. Yeah, but it takes more than you get you faster with this. Faster with this. This is this is from old days. This is what my oh. parents used to use. So I oh. continue. Okay. I continue with. It. So after after the beating here, now we sieve. Yes. All right. So you're gonna show, sir. How to sieve. All right. All right. Cool. So I have all my ashram things. Stored in this well, bucket. Organized, eh? yeah, <laughs> I have to. Nice, nice, nice. So, we're going to see when one of these buckets. Oh, we have the buckets ready. Right, because when I'm using the milk, we just oh. milk oh, okay. to the bucket. Well, to the bucket. Okay, right. cool. So, it's the same procedure. Uh -huh. And most people, when, when I do it in the matter, some people order. I have to do it from the other, because some people order and they want it done through the matter. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Because they are saying it when you do it in the matter, you have this original taste. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I believe so too. Yes, I believe so too. The original. I taste. believe so. I'm glad they use the matter. Yes. This time, all right. Okay. And then the sieving here. Actually, somebody call her, order some. Uh -huh. A lady call her, order a pound and a half. Uh -huh. One and a half pound. Uh -huh. And 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 other things. 
for okay. what we are focusing on the Asha. Oh, actually, actually, guys, a good time to tell you. This lady, she does Asham is her main product, but she does other stuff too. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about that in a little while, right? And we're gonna talk. About, we're gonna talk about how you can get in touch with her as well. So stay with me. Stay at the end. We're gonna share her contact information right at the end and um, all the good stuff, right? So just. Just stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Auntie Cena is her name. Okay. Auntie Cena. All right. So let me see what we look down there. So this is a, the residue. So yeah. this is a good stuff now. Yeah. Um, so this is almost ready. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see one more. Mm -hmm. One more cup. So you can actually get the amount of it. And we are gonna package and everything. Mm -hmm. I should tell while you're doing this, I should tell um I should tell I should tell you guys, my viewers, that I met this nice lady at Denby. Yeah, wonderful. She was so receptive and I felt like we connected right away in you know, the man. I tell you, I'm so blessed to meet some amazing people. Some of you have been watching my videos and you wanna say, how am I finding people here? <laughs> Why it's a blessing. God is good it because is, I tell you, is, I've connected some is. people who have, I don't know, I don't know. There's some amazing people here and Aunt Cena is one of them man. And she keep telling by the way, when I came in, she keep calling me, sir, sir, girl, I'm a, sir, yes, sir, no, sir. And I tell her, I keep telling her, no, you don't have to say, sir, you know. <laughs> so you, you say, you know, she's old school, and you hear them kind of stuff. She's old school, man. Full of manners. Full of manners. It's a blessing. All right, so, you still turning that? Yes, yeah, sir. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you say it's going to look like this. Yes. Cool, cool. All right. So, this is the sieve one. This is the one I'm staying closer to because I want to taste that. Does it always have that color? Because yes. it, because it's okay because you burn it that's why yeah, it no it's not burned this one so, is not burned. sorry not burn uh, all right when parch parch so that's yes. kind of like a color. parch brown color right okay and this is a demonstration guys you're not doing a whole lot when she's doing this um officially it's just to show yeah she's how, just to show you so how, how we do it so give her a big up man give her a thumbs up for me right now because she didn't have to do it but she has shown with it all the time i don't know a lot of you are connected with it right now so so give her a thumbs up for me right now, man, and, and share this video with somebody, especially if you have a child or a grandchild who didn't know about this, or they didn't know about this stuff. Share with them right now, man. Right now. The more the merrier. So we're going to pack it now. So you're going to, oh, so you put a little scoop. Yeah. <laughs> so where's your, where's your, you, you put sugar in that already? Yeah. So hold on, oh, so you put the sugar before you beat it? No, just put it in, when I'm beating it, you yeah. just put a little sugar in it. Oh, you put a little? I yeah. didn't see when you put it in there. Oh, you want to see? No, it? <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. Oh, that's okay, you just drop a little in there. Yeah. You put salt in there? Not really? Not really. Not really, okay, you no. Have, you, you can, but no. you don't have to. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. So we are ready to package now. All right. So you put a, I notice you have a, a little kind of like a funnel. Do uh, you yeah. call it? Yeah, so to put it on in the bag. And the bag, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's your official packaging bag. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. Nice. Well, because I'm relocated, it used to have everything like and I one thing I could put it like this and get it packaged. Mm -hmm. But because I'm relocated now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And this is how you do it. But this is all right. This is good, yes. man. We appreciate this. We appreciate and, that. And then you would seal it here. Uh huh. Let me show you how oh, yeah. you seal the package. Oh, that's a little sealer. Yeah. Okay. And this lady, guy, I should have shown it. Very organized. Very neat. Um, you know, she do her stuff. She get her thing together, prepared, wash her hand, and just get everything nicely ready before we came, before before we started. You know, so yeah. I want you to know I appreciate that and and stuff. So this is. This is a sealed package. All right, and then they put a little label and stuff on it. And the label. All right. And everything is right so here. So you think, so you think well organized, man? Everything is well organized. All right. I have the labels right here. How long are you in this, you're doing this, Miss Cena? Aunt Cena, what? Wow. Um, since 2013, mm -hmm. I, we started it 2013. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 2013? 2013. Okay, so that's a while. Yeah, it's a How while. How is it going? You get support? Yes. Um, I go on the street. I go to to Santa Cruz on a Friday. Uh huh. Yes, and I used to work at the school, Glensworth Primary. Which one? Glensworth Primary, in Magati. I used to work there in the canteen. Uh huh. So they support me. Oh I'm nice. selling it in the talk shop. Uh huh. Turn it around and show off, show off to the world, guys. See the beautiful product here. Anti senior uh -huh. food pantry. Uh huh. Let me hold it and show off, man. Uh -huh. 
Auntie Cena Food Pantry Asham. Yeah. And it says, I mean, I can't read so good enough. But anyway, you can see, guys, Um, what is on it? The phone number and yeah. barcode and everything. Barcode, so, the yeah. phone number, see, the peanut, yeah. the corn. Oh, so peanut is peanut in, not in this one? No. Okay, this, no, is no. A, this is the traditional one. What I should do, I should put this label on it with just corn alone. Okay, that's fine. Because that one is just corn. All right. That's yeah. fine. That's so fine. I have that. everything on the cover. Tell her we understand. We yeah. understand. Tell yeah. her we understand, guys. We yeah. understand. This is just a demonstration to show it. Just to okay. show you. Okay. okay, so this is a finished product. Yeah. How long will this last, typically? Like a year, you know, because a dry product uh -huh. have very long shelf life. Uh -huh. yes. Well, no preservative, right? No preservative. This so it's natural awesome. because it's already cooked on uh -huh. the fire. Uh -huh. Yes. And this is good for good, yes. good, good food. You say we, we good call it strong food. food. Strong food. You call natural. It. Uh -huh. It's natural. So it's good for your body. Good yeah. for the body. And the mind. And the mind. Don't remember. <laughs> don't forget that. <laughs> the mind and the body. All right. You got to check on this one again. All right. We're doing several different patches here, guys. So let's deal with us here. Alright, so yeah, you just for the minutes, so. You have to keep on stirring. Yes. Yeah. Because if you don't stir it, it will stick to the bottom of the pot mm -hmm. and get burned. Okay. So you okay. have to keep on stirring. Alright, well, what are you inviting the questions, my friends? Those of you who are watching, what questions do you have for Aunt Cena? Um, drop it in the comments now, I promise you we'll get back to it. So the question, this is, but this again is the original Jamaican Asham. You make it. Corn Asham. Corn Asham. Yes. You have different, you have a different type of Asham. Look, corn Asham. Corn Asham, yeah. You, you know, you're not just putting your Asham. Right? No, no, no. Just corn Asham. <laughs> we don't, we don't know, we don't know Asham. Right? Asham, yes. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, now you know we can come here so I can eat Asham and taste it in you know, our artist scene. So yeah. We have to go taste something. Like that. So which one are you going to give me? I'm going to give me the, but I'll give me the, here what you going to do. You the want one, the one where you just beat with the one. You I want see. To, yeah, you want to taste. Yeah, man, let's taste some of my hand. In the bucket here. Oh, it's this. Yes, let me get that. Right. Let me get that. Spray. All right, we're gonna taste. We're gonna taste, my friends. Sorry. Uh, Space is so small. Yeah, so. I'm gonna taste it on behalf of you and I, my friends. You're watching right now. I'm gonna you taste it for you and I. Put it in your hand and taste it. Yes, right man. My hand, my hand clean already. Can wash oh. my hand already. Corn Asham. I can look a bit this again. You, you, just want, you don't need to have a whole lot of corn. I taste, man. I don't mind. I taste, bud. I taste. I just want you to put that in your tongue. All right, all right, all right. Taste it, all right. We share the share. Come here, my parrot. All right, guys. So, this is my Asham from Auntie Cena. This is corn Asham, which is corn and a little bit of sugar. Yeah. No additive, no, no preservative. She tell me say it's good for me. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. But Trina, this is no, the no, just a... <laughs> <laughs> Well, more sugar. Okay. My life for my sugar, but this is nice. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Who remember this? You remember this, guys? Oh, wow. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Good for the mind and the body. Mm. No, don't forget that. Mm. Thank you, Miss Cena. You're welcome. Do you have some other, you have some other products though you want to show me? Uh, cornmeal. Uh -huh. I make the cornmeal straight uh -huh. from the corn. No additive, uh -huh. no preservative. Uh -huh. Just naturally corn. Uh -huh. And the cornmeal. Uh, yeah. All right. But you have, uh, so I want to see some of the other products that you. First, by the way, guys. Um. This this stuff here, this Asham here again, Asham, this good stuff again is all hundred percent corn. Yeah. The benefits of corn are well documented. So there's a link actually in the description if you want to learn more about corn and the health benefits, amazing health benefits of this traditional. Uh, you say it's in the Bible too. It's in the Bible. About the, oh, corn is good, corn, right? Yeah. Check it out, check it out. Really get some more corn in the diet and you get, live a healthier life, eh? Show me what else you have, Miss Auntie Cena. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you're still keeping the heritage and the and the, um, the culture. I do um, cornmeal. This is straight from the corn. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. The That's a cornmeal. Good, good. Yes. All right. Some people would say corn flour, mm -hmm. but it's really cornmeal. Corn All right. Yeah. Good. No additive, no preservative. Mm -hmm. You just, the dry corn, mm -hmm. we mill it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and get it to powder. Nice. Very nice. Nice. It's good for your dumpling. Uh -huh. who, who love cornmeal dumpling? Who love cornmeal um, dumpling? Pudding. Mm -hmm. Good for pudding. You can make a pudding with it too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Porridge. Yes, your mm -hmm. porridge. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and then this is it. This is it. This is your baby product. Right. Asham. All right. And you have you have some with a straight Asham, 
And you have some with corn. With, with corn. And, and corn and All right, good. Peanut. And then you have the peanut. peanut. I, um, by the way, guys, I think she have a bag of peanut here. About, uh, what what kind of bag? A hundred pound bag of peanut. You you, you farm peanut too? That is um, three bushel. It's sixty pound. Sixty pound. Yes. Yeah, so you, that's your farm? No. Oh, you I, buy it? Yes. Yeah, okay. To, to show to do my product. You do your product. Right. <sighs> Good so stuff. My labels Good never st ready for that. Thing. No, man. This but is nice. Okay. This is This is already parched as well. Parched and package. Mm. All right. So if people want to, people want to. Well, actually, right now. I know guys, I know, I'm coming to it, just bear with me. <laughs> they're asking, you can't wait to hear her, how to get in touch with her. So now is the time. How can they reach you? They can call me. Mm -hmm. They uh, can call me, um, what's, yeah, what's the phone contact? number, WhatsApp, uh -huh. I'm on WhatsApp too. Uh -huh. All right, the WhatsApp number is 472-2328. Uh -huh. That's a WhatsApp Re Repeat number. for me. 472-2328. Uh -huh. That's how you contact her. Uh, the number is also in the description as well guys if you miss it and um, there's also a link if you need to purchase it directly if you're overseas and you need to get it you know i'm assisting her to get it to you as well so just check the link in the description as well and seen as asham the old time jamaican asham what makes jamaica special auntie cena oh the good natural stuff that we guys have. suspect you're gonna say something <laughs> like that suspect you're gonna get something like that the good natural food we have in here, yeah. everything, the food, the fruits, everything. Yes, so yes. So make it good. All right, all right. We can't, we can't leave out the people. The people. They are all humble and... Especially you guys in the country yeah, part, humble. so nice, you know. Unfortunately, people hear a lot of, especially some of the stuff that goes on in, the, you know, the less deprived, uh, the more deprived areas, you know, which is kind of sad and they just kind of cloud everything, Jamaica. But that's why I'm here. I'm sharing the real Jamaica. This is the real Jamaica. We still have people like you. Awesome. Wonderful people. I want to thank, thank you. you for keeping the heritage and the culture yes. alive with your Asham. Thank traditional you. Asham. Thank you so much. Yes, man. I blessings and thanks. Okay. All right. That's Auntie Sina, guys. And her authentic Jamaican Asham. I want to hear from you. You know the routine. I want to hear from you. Have you had it before? You know, would you have it? Go ahead and share, share. Yes, man, I'll share your comments below. Yes, it's a real Jamaican. There's another video you need to look at. Jamaican coconut oil. Courtesy of Anne Marie. Link in the description and it's in the card as well. Make sure you check it out. See you in that one.